Okay, Yorick, here we are in um, the Huawei Training Center, which... Uh, I thought this was iStore's training center. Oh, well, that's but... a little bit of an overstatement. So, uh, <laughs> iStore is just the um, brand name that Huawei uses in Australia, effectively, for their yeah. inverters, for their, their solar inverters. Training facility is probably a little bit of an understatement though, right? Well, I would call it almost a bit like a theme park. So, this <laughs> place is huge. Yeah. It's about one and a half times the size of Disney World in the US. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, uh, and so it's like or, uh, European village is how I refer to it because yep. they're copying a whole bunch of European cities and each train stop that you go to around is a different themed city. So how did we end up here, Yos? So Huawei, so iStore invited us over to actually have a bit of a tour of the factories, which we did this morning. Mm. So mm. we got to see a CNI or commercial and industrial size inverter being made from scratch. We also got to see some commercial battery modules being manufactured as well. Yeah, yeah, the battery battery facility was really pristine. It was, to be fair, the, the facility where they tested the, the machines, the, the automation, but they use in other factories, but it was ridiculously, like I couldn't believe them polishing um, the battery cells before they were putting them in, the big prismatic cells. They, they polished them with plasma. With what plasma I'm... as well, yes. I was actually and, uh, impressed with the inverter factory because yeah, this is a yeah. 333 kilowatt inverter. It weighs 160 kilos and we got to see it be made all the way from a bare PCB all the way to the finished product. What I liked about it is I was sort of asking them, oh, it's a shame we didn't get to see the, the standard 10 kilowatt residential inverter, but um, it's basically, they said it's exactly the same process. So from the printed circuit board, putting all the, you know, all the chips in, in the board, all the way to at the end, we just walked around and saw the whole lot. I've been testing this inverter for um, nine months or something like that back at home since actually end of last year. And um, it is a super impressive inverter. You said there's some interesting things you found with it. Yeah, like, like I'm testing it against Fronius. It's AFCI is inbuilt uh, arc fault um, circuit interruption. Um, for safety and fires and stuff like that. It works ridiculously well. Um, it's global maximum power point tracker or sort of like four wheel drive to get it out of a shady position is ridiculously good. There's a lot of things. In fact, I'll call this maybe the best kept secret in the solar industry for inverters because it's not a huge seller in the market. At the moment, I would call it my second favorite inverter on the market. After SIG? I'm still a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still a Fronius fanboy. There, there's a couple of little advantages I reckon Fronius has over it, um, but there's a, there's a price difference and it's a, it's a really impressive inverter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just from the little bit of testing that I've seen, I'm impressed with it as well. So mm -hmm. um, we'll have to get back to the office and, and do a deep dive soon. And now tell us about this library. So yeah, yeah. again, we're essentially at Huawei's, essentially their library for their staff. And it's a recreation of the French National Library. Um, I think it's in Versal. And it, this place is huge. We'll, we'll go inside and take you for a little sneak peek. Yeah, okay, let's go.